Hello crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Marissa. I have a design team project for Scrap Diva Designs today. Uh, you guys know her latest release for July is now live in her shop. So if you guys want to go check that out, ScrapDivaDesigns.com. If you want to see my previous video, um, I share all the dies that have been released. I'll probably link them in this description box if you guys, so you guys can head over. Uh, I do have the discount code MWalker10 for 10% off and I let's just jump in because you guys I love this little album it is so cute so for this one it's the beach ball which is the shape here and it comes with the outer circle the inner circle for the layering and of course the beach ball part and the little swimsuits and surfing um, layers there so I ended up using the pink fresh paper pad the six by six I just love this collection. I follow the designer Cassidy Dem Demkov, I think is how you say her name. She has done a few American crafts, I think crepe paper designs. I think one of Maggie Holmes and I just love um, her style. So I definitely wanted to get this collection and she did not disappoint. It is super cute. It's like got a little bit of everything. Like it's got wording, fruit i like this style like just the words the summer words like more flowers leaves i like these these are cool the stripes i loved it um tag or not tags but like tickets and then it's got like this cool like summer agenda writing if you wanted to use it for that but it's also got the stripes and this is probably my favorite i love this flower print it's so pretty so I used that. I also picked up the puffy stickers and the ephemera. I ended up using mainly the ephemera and a few of the puffy stickers, but it comes with quite a bit. So I definitely am not disappointed by this collection at all. Now I haven't punched any holes in it because I'm waiting for some eyelets that I'm hoping will have a wide opening so that I could insert the little ring because the ones that I have, I know they don't work that way. Um, they're a little bit on the smaller side, but I did how many pages? One, two, three, four, five. I did five. And so I did front and back. Oh my gosh, I love the way this turned out. The layering on this is probably my favorite. I just love it. The paper. I thought it matched it up with the light green there, aqua color. It's just so cute. And this flower, probably my favorite. I wanted to put it on the cover as soon as I saw it best summer ever so it's like a cute little mini album with the um for summer moments okay i did not want to hide this paper i think it is the cutest so i use vellum to create that layer for your picture here Look at the little fruit basket how cute and a little watermelon i love it it's just so cute and the thickness of it it's got this pretty like not rough but like thick thickness in it compared to like I don't know the other american crafts brand i think is very thin it wasn't always thin like that but i feel like it's gotten thinner the die cuts with the view is thick i like that one too but anyways on this page i just matched it up with the stripes and then the peach is so pretty that design and i just added a little layer there but it's a belly band so you can like stick a picture in here if you wanted so cute Okay, on this one, I actually did a whole embellished page. I just love this. Like, all of it is so cute. Little suitcase. The sunglasses are adorable now. Okay, this one I kept simple. I don't have any of this, like, peach color. And I want to find, like, the solid color so I can put one in here. So I got to go to Joann's. And I'm going to take this paper with me so that I can match the color and see if I can find one that's this color. That's so weird, I know. Anyways, the circle... All the inside circles are the essential bundles is what it is from Scrap Diva Designs. And I think they were on sale the last time I saw. Okay, on this one I created a little pocket. I just haven't added the circle in there because I can decide if I want to do a pink or a yellow or cut up one of the papers. I haven't decided yet. I can't. I'm so indecisive. But I did use vellum for the pocket. I just thought it'd be cute to be clear. And then I used a lot of the ephemera. The little... Uh, puffy sticker sorry and then the other stickers that I use which I forgot were the sunny days that one of the sheets has all these little wording they worked out perfect here 
and the colors match too. And I love that tag. I just love that paper with the flowers. It's so cute. And this leaf. Okay, this is a Polaroid style die that I found in my stash. I have no idea where I got it. I'm my I'm pretty sure it was a D stash, but at one point I got it. I have no idea, but it was there. So I added it so that I could have a spot for pictures and then I just layered up my ephemera and puppy sticker. And then over here I created a little cluster. I love this collection, but I kind of kept it in the like same tone. Hello, puffy sticker. They're so cute. So pretty. I'm thinking of adding some enamel dots, but I don't know. We'll see. And then this is the last page and I did another little cluster with one of the ephemera piece that actually, I think it could be, it's like one of those old photo slides and it was matching to the paper in the background and then I added these little cut parts. I added another one of the stickers there. This swimsuit. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. I was going to put one of the big ones, but it's actually a lot bigger so I think I'm gonna make one where the swimsuit will be in the cover and I think that'll look a little bit better and then I just added the ephemera and the cut apart I did do some stitching and I do have uh, yarn oh my gosh uh, the thread that matches this color right now and so it worked out perfectly you can't really tell the color of the thread but I did match it thankfully and that's it so I'm hoping my eyelids work out with the size of the hole and that I can put my little ring binder ring, or the ring in there and it'll work out. So head over to Scrap Diva Designs to pick up any of these new dies and come back for more um, project shares. And I'm gonna try to create a couple tutorials for some of the things I've made. Cause I think you guys will like what I create with these new dies, or at least I hope you do. But anyways, don't forget to use my discount code MWalker10 for 10% off and come back real soon. Bye.